You're watching Prophetic Drive Time. I'm Eli Lasky. Let's get into this word. So I've been sent today to speak a word to many of you. To many of you who have been dealing with plagues of the heart, plagues of the mind, plagues of the soul. And these plagues, these plagues, these plagues, we have uh, have been brought about through the, the disappointment and, and, and through the hurt, the heartache, the betrayal of some, uh, the dishonoring, uh, the loss that we faced in our life throughout this time frame. You see, the church has gone through a very difficult period. It's not, uh, it's not unique in the fact that it's been difficult for the church, but we've gone through a very heightened spiritual time frame. Uh, it hasn't been as as physical as as in past times dealing with the church, but it has been a very deep spiritual, a very deep spiritual uh, uh, journey that we've been on with regard to uh, the longing from God. You know, the hearing and and the, and the seeing and the and the. And the manifestation and and just even for some of you for a lot of you the closeness and the proximity there's been a yearning uh for god and as a result the adversary as a result the adversary has come in and begin to and begin to 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 twist uh, 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 to take advantage of 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 the place that we were that we found ourselves in, the the place that we found ourselves in, he began to come in and take advantage uh, of, of the situations of our confusion, of our lack of understanding for what we were going through. You see, because it it, it hit us without warning. There was not necessarily an understanding of what we were going into. Ah, glory to God. There was not necessarily an understanding of the trials and the times that we were going into. So as a result, the enemy came in with false understanding. God does not love you. God is not with you. Oh, where is God now? I thought God cared for you. But look at your body. Your body is hurting. Look at this. And, and what happens is it weakened us and he took advantage of us. But as a result, the most important thing that happened was we were wounded. You see, I'm speaking to some people now who, 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 who were, who were, who was able to, to make it through the transition from the wilderness to the promised land, but they were wounded in the process. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. You see, you were wounded, and as a result, you are now dealing with plagues of the heart, plagues of the mind, and plagues of the soul, to which you said, Lord, I've been holding on, and I believe, but Lord, in the process, I've been wounded. Oh, glory to God. I, I, I've been, the disappointment has, I, I was so confused by the disappointment that it left a wound. It left a scar in my heart. Well, my word for you today is restoration. Glory to God. You see, God is telling me today, he's saying to me today that I'm sending you out to speak a word of restoration to my people. Let them know that I've heard their cries. I've heard the longing and I see, the Lord says, I see the wounding. He says, I see the heartache. I see the disappointment and it has formed a wound, a deep wound, a deep, a deep wound that has left you broken. And in the midst of your belief, there's still confusion. In the midst of your hope and trust in God, there's still disappointment, there's still hurt. And the Lord is saying to you today, stretch forth that withered hand. Oh, glory to God. The Lord is showing up in your midst, in your presence today. And he said, stretch it forth, the thing that was withered. You see, because what happens is, withering is a result. When you look at a flower that's dying, it's usually a result of a lack of water. Glory to God. You see, during during the trials, one of the, the during the wilderness process or the transition process, as I call it, during the transition of the wilderness process, one of the things that's synonymous with the wilderness is a lack of water. Things are dry. And what happens in dry territory is things begin to wither. And God says, I'm seeing your heart. I see your heart, but I have not forgotten about you. God says, I was always there, but you weren't, weren't able to recognize me. And the enemy seized upon you to cause heartache, tremendous heartache that has left you in the place, that has left, left you in the place where you didn't give up. 
And I congratulate you for that. He said, but for you to go into the, for you to go into the promised land, he said, you must be restored. And so God is asking you today to stretch forth the withered hand, to stretch forth that thing that has withered in the transition, to stretch forth, to, to bring, open up your heart. Because today he says, enough enough you shall suffer no more he said enough is enough today he wants you desires for you to be restored he desires your heart to be whole the, today the lord is coming after the plagues the plagues and the confusion sown by the enemy of his people hallelujah sown by the enemy of his people to bring a wounding the lord said first i'm bringing understanding and clarity to let you know that i did not forsake you all the things that the enemy spoke uh, to you against your God were not true. The things that he spoke against you, which which caused the wound, glory to God, which allowed it to fester and become infected. So many of you have been brokenhearted from the things that you see because you didn't understand what was going on. And God is saying today, restoration has come. Today, the Lord is saying, my heart is broken for you because he does not delight in you being in that space. He does not delight in you being in that position. He does not delight in you being a... Uh, 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 kind of a, 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 a false representation of who he created you to be glory to God you're in a you're, you've been in what what the what plagues do what the plagues of the heart and mind do is they cause a bit of deformity which which means this it changes the the the, the intent or the identity of what God placed in you to something else you believe in God, you trust in God, you know God is for you, but God is saying, I'm here, I'm here. and what I'm, what I'm sensing from the Lord is, is there is a nearness to you, there is a nearness, he's always been near, and he's never left you nor forsaken you, but God is manifesting a nearness to you that, 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 you have that you have not seen before. He's manifesting how close he is to do to you right now, even through this word. God wants you to open up your heart again. Welcome him into that space. He says, because I'm coming to do a work. The healer is here. Glory to God. The healer is here. And he's saying, give unto me. Cast your cares. Cast that hurt. Bring it to me. Be transparent with God and say, Lord, you know what? This hurt me, Lord. But I offer it to you today. God has said, whatever you offer unto him today, he will take it and replace it and give you double. He will give you double of whatever you lost in transition. God said he's given you double. If you feel like you lost your mind, God is about to restore it twofold. If you feel like you've broke, your heart has been broken, God is about to restore it twofold. If you feel like you've lost your sense of identity, who am I? Lost your sense of your soul. God has said, I'm restoring it today double. God is restoring today double everything that you have lost because of the enemy. The Lord said he, does, he is not pointing his finger at you, at you or blaming you. Glory to God. He is simply saying, stretch forth your withered hand whatever is withered god is saying stretch it forth right now because he said it was the enemy who bound you and in your faith you kept it, it, it reminds me of the story they say amen glory to god thank you father it reminds me of the story of the man who kept showing up to the synagogue with a withered hand he kept showing up to the synagogue with a wither with a withered hand and he would show up with a withered hand and he would leave with a wither, withered hand you see he had withered his hand had with him and the lord talked about it was the enemy who bound this man up it was the enemy it was the enemy but one day healing showed up oh glory to god and i'm here to tell you today that today healing has showed up for you god is telling you to stretch forth your withered hand give it to him open up dialogue he said i'm here i'm listening i'm listening all you got to do is tell me where it hurts he said it's not that i don't know what's bothering you it's not that i don't understand he said but i want you to know i want you to weigh my goodness and my love by what you speak to me Oh, how do I break this down for you? You see, it's not that God don't know. It's amazing. Think about all the times where he would ask people, what, what can I do for you? What is it that you need? It wasn't that he was unaware or didn't know what they needed. But see, that's the beginning of intimacy. When you can say to someone, 
this is who I am, this is where I am. And he said, that's how you, that's how his love for you is measured. Sometimes God will just show up and do it unannounced. Sometimes God will, but when he wants deep intimacy, he, when he wants to, when he wants to extract trust from you, when he wants to reveal his goodness to you, he will ask you to show me where it hurts, for he will ask you to show me where it hurts. Take me to where you have buried your hope. Take me there so that I could call it forth. And today, God, is calling forth today God is calling forth he is calling forth your sickness he's saying reveal it to me so I can call forth wholeness so I can so I can call forth healing in your body he's saying I'm nearer to you than I've ever been and I'm going to make it clear to you today today I want you to show me where you've been broken. Take me to that place along the journey where you lost your hope. Take me to that place along the journey where the enemy seized upon you and, 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 and took and, and took your confusion and, 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 and twisted it and, and took your took where you were confused and didn't understand what was going on, took it and he wounded you. He said, take me to that place because it's right there where I will bring restoration. It's right there where I will bring healing. Cast it all upon him and be and be willing, be willing. Be willing, be willing to move forward. Oh, for all of you who are brokenhearted right now, the Lord said restoration is your portion today. Restoration and healing is your portion. It belongs to you because the Lord is coming with a vengeance, a vengeance against your enemies. He is bringing his, he is bringing his wholeness with a vengeance against those who have bound you, against the plagues that the enemy has put upon you. God is saying some, even some of you, sickness in your body has been a result of the wounding spiritually. Uh, how the enemy wounded you in your heart manifests itself into a, a deformity or, or, or in, a infirmity in your body. Some of you have been going to doctors for healing that is a result of a heart condition. Glory to God. Oh, they say stress is the number one killer for a reason. Because while it is a, 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 a an unseen, an unseen uh, 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 mm, enemy, it produces itself, it manifests itself in the seen, in the natural. And God is saying, I'm going to restore to you double. I'm going to restore to you double. Take me to where it hurts. Take me to where you've been broken. Take me to where it hurts. And God is saying, healing is here today. Healing for everyone under the sound of this voice right now, my voice right now. God is ushering forth healing for you today. God is declaring restoration for you today. And he said not only restoration, but double. He's going to give you right now. He is giving you joy, giving you joy in exchange. Be willing to exchange. Open up your heart and say, Lord, I give it to you today. I'm no longer in. See, and hmm, okay. Thank you, Lord. For some of you, for some of you, what the Lord is just showing me, that you've begun to identify with your pain. That you've taken on a new identity. Mm -hmm. You've taken on a new identity. From, from now, you've, you, you've started to identify yourself as the one who's broken, as the one who's hurt, and, and as the one who's hurt. And as a result, it has produced a frustration, kind of like a hardness to you, kind of like an uneasiness, kind of like a sharpness to where you, you've become an hypercritical. And, you know, it's just manifesting itself in different ways. But God is saying to you today, healing is your portion that's not who you are that is a false identity that is a false representation of who god put in you who god called you to be and the deposit of jesus christ that he placed in you then the lord is saying restoration is available for you today for all who seek it all who desire it do you want to be whole today do you want to be made whole today Take the Lord to where you've hurt. Take the Lord to where you've been ambushed. Open up, uh, open up the dialogue honestly because he's here for you right now. Say, Lord, this is where I'm hurting, Lord. You see, when that this thing happened and I was disappointed because I was confused and I didn't understand, Lord, and the enemy came in subtly, subtly. He didn't announce that he was the enemy. He came in subtly and told me, oh, it's because God doesn't love you. He came in and see, when he told you God didn't love you, he wounded you. He stabbed you in the heart. He opened up a wound. Glory to God, and 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 it and it began to transform as it began to get infected. It began to transform and transform you, and you've been secretly hiding it. For some of you, you've been trying to mask it, but it's coming out. But it's coming out. But God is saying today, He's stretching forth His hand unto you. He's stretching forth His hand unto you to let you know that number one, He never left you nor forsake you. He will never leave you or forsake you ever leave you nor forsake you and he said it's time for you to be whole the lord is saying it's time for you to be made 
whole. And your word today is restoration. The king is thundering. The king is thundering from on high. And he is letting you that healing is your portion. And it is, it is his desire for you to be whole today. Enough with all the plagues of the heart. He wants to set you free from every demonic oppression, every demonic attack. He wants to set you free in the name of Jesus. He's sending his word today to wash you, to wash all the sediment, to wash all the debris, and to see you shine again, to see the skies of your heart become blue again, hallelujah, to see the sun rise in the, in the midst of your heart. Let go of all that frustration, all that disappointment, all that disappointment, all the blame on who did this and who did that. Somebody hurt you along the way, which caused the wounding. The Lord is saying it's time to forgive because what he has for you is greater than what they've done to you. Mm. What he has for you is greater than what they've done to you. I don't care if they were family members. I don't care if they were friends. I don't care if they were husband and wife. I don't care what God has for you is greater than what they have done to you. And the Lord is declaring freedom from the mountains of heaven, from the hilltop, from the throne room of his glory. He's saying freedom. Now he is, he is charged the atmosphere with the word freedom and restoration in the name of Jesus. There is no other option but for you to be made whole in Jesus name and that is your portion today and I pray that you receive it because it is God's will for your life. Amen. And that's my word for you today. Be blessed. Receive. Open up your heart. Go to a quiet place and dialogue with your Lord. Dialogue with your God and let him know this is where I was wounded Lord. Your transparency will bring forth your deliverance in the name of Jesus. And that's my word. God bless you. Love you all.